What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to a brand new video as well as a brand new Pokemon moveset guide. I'm going to be giving you guys a moveset guide on pretty much every brand new Pokemon that is legal in VGC Series 7. So do me a favor, leave a like in the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications. Because I'm going to be I'm going to be pumping these things out. I stayed up so late last night playing through the DLC, uh, getting all these like slides made for the moveset guides I'm going to be making. So yeah, I'm, I'm working pretty hard now that the DLC is out. So let's go ahead and get into it. I'm actually really excited about this Pokemon in particular, Galarian Zapdos. One of the most anticipated Pokemon to come out of the DLC. We all expected this, th this thing to be fast and physically offensive, and that's pretty much what we got. It's got 90 HP, 125 attack, 90 defense, 85 special attack, 90 special defense, and 100 speed. Now, stats like this sort of make you say, okay, yeah, I'm probably going to run this thing as like a max speed, max attack Pokemon every single time. Uh, but it also has decent bulk, so I could see in the future when we sort of get an established metagame, uh, putting a little bit more into bulk, putting a little bit less into speed, uh, and sort of uh, optimizing this thing to take a hit or two. But for right now, it's going to be a little bit more frail. Uh, this first moveset I have for you guys is going to be a Jolly Life Orb offensive moveset. Uh, of course, we're running max speed, max attack, 4 HP. Close Combat or Thunderous Kick as your first move, Brave Bird as your second move, Protect and U-Turn as your last two moves. And the reason that this Pokemon has sort of a choice between Close Combat and Thunderous Kick is that I could make a case for both of these. Close Combat has that immediate 120 base power that does massive, massive damage, but it also lowers your defenses um, and sort of has that drawback of, okay, yeah, I might lose this Pokemon immediately and pretty much uh, have to trade it for another. Uh, where Thunderous Kick has less immediate power, but there's absolutely no drawbacks to it besides that. It's got 90 base power and it lowers your opponent's defense each time you use it and connect it successfully. So yeah, it's it's actually like scaling damage in that way. Uh, and I think it's actually a really interesting move. I could see people using it, but I think it's going to be more common for people to run close combat for that immediate power. Uh, but it is a choice that you can make uh, considering both of these things will turn into like a 90 base power max knuckle when you Dynamax. Speaking of Dynamax, Brave Bird. Brave Bird turns into Max Airstream and the stab at Max Airstream at that. It's going to be able to speed boost your Galarian Zapdos as well as speed boost its allies. Uh, and it's just a really solid move. Anything with stab Max Airstream is immediately a threat. And the fact that this thing gets defined as an ability means that you can lead with this thing. And if they lead off with Landorus, you can one shot that thing with Max Airstream at plus one in the life orb. It's going to be doing so much damage coming off a of 125 base attack. It's going to be such a nasty Pokemon to face. Protect is pretty much necessary, uh, because this thing is a flying type, you can't protect it from fake out even if psychic terrain is up, uh, so yeah, this thing's touching the ground, but it is a flying type, go ahead and run protect, it'll help you avoid will-o-wisp, scout for fake out, do a whole bunch of things that are super useful for VGC, and it's just a generally a good move. Uh, the final move I would recommend for this life orb set is going to be U-turn. And the reason that U-Turn is such a solid option is because you can lead off this thing with 100 base attack. It's actually going to be really solid uh, just as a lead if they, if you have like a negative matchup on the lead, if they don't lead off with an Intimidator like Incineroar or uh, maybe they lead off with like Choice Scarf Tapu Lele. You can go ahead and um, just sort of like redirect that hit with a partner Pokemon U-Turn out or maybe they lead off with... Uh, a slower electric type. Yeah, just go ahead and U-turn out on that thing. It's going to be really solid. On top of that, U-turn allows this thing to avoid getting trapped by things like Gothitelle. And um, I guess no one really runs like Whirlpool or anything, but if you find yourself in that situation, go ahead and U-turn out of there. It's such a solid move. It also allows you to cycle in Intimidators, like um, sort of some of the recommended Pokemon I actually have down there, like Incineroar. Uh, this thing's a great partner for that, uh, but I'll get into why that is in a second here. The next moveset I have for you guys is essentially the same moveset, but uh, more of a utility Pokemon. For this moveset, I would recommend running a Lumberry or Safety Goggles because it'll actually, as you can see, like the only actual move that changes is Taunt. And the reason I would recommend running a Lumberry or Safety Goggles with a Taunt set is because on Sun teams, you're going to be facing a lot of Venusaur. Uh, on slower teams, you're going to be facing a lot of Amoongus, and by running Safety Goggles or the Lumberry, I would say Safety Goggles is probably better overall, um, that'll actually allow you to ignore Rage Powders, ignore Sleep Powders, and if they want to go for like Rage Powder plus Trick Room, you can go ahead and taunt the Trick Room Setter. If it's a Dust Clops, you can taunt that thing, and it's pretty much useless for the rest of the time it stays in. It's going to have to switch out uh, in order to shake off that taunt, or maybe just stall out with a couple of Nightshades. Uh, but it's such a useful Pokemon with Taunt, you're able to stop Trick Rooms, you're able to stop Sleep Powders, you're able to stop Rage Powders for the rest of the game, uh, and it's just so, so nice. 
Um, on top of that, if you end up running uh, Lumberry, uh, you're going to be able to avoid burns, and that's just such a solid option for this Pokemon. Let's go ahead and get into the Pokemon I would recommend as partners for it, and I'll go one by one explaining why I think these partners are phenomenal. Tapu Lele. Tapu Lele is a Psychic and Fairy type. It's pretty fast at 95, um, at 95 speed with a solid base 130 special attack set, but it also sets up Psychic Terrain. Now, like I said, Galarian Zapdos doesn't really benefit from Psychic Terrain since it's not touching the ground, and it does not want to face an opposing Tapu Lele since they could one-shot it with Psychic or Moonblast. Uh, but this thing is actually pretty solid next to Lele because it is able to max Airstream next to the Lele, outspeeding it uh, and giving this Lele a speed boost which is going to allow it to outspeed its opponents and hit them with very powerful Psychic or Fairy type moves. Also, uh, Galarian Zapdos is weak to... What is it? Galarian Zapdos is weak to... Ice, Electric, sorry, uh, it's weak to like Ice, Electric, and uh, Fairy. Tapu Lele, it, it can't directly like knock those things out, but uh, it's able to threaten them with Psychic moves, so overall Tapu Lele is just like a really solid option. Uh, Dragapult is actually really, really good as a partner for this Pokemon, uh, because Dragapult is super, super fast. It's a Ghost Dragon type, uh, and... It's just like, I don't know how to explain it, it's it's just another fast Pokemon. If you want, you could actually just go ahead and Dynamax your Dragapult uh, and go for a max Airstream coming off a of Fly. If you're unfamiliar with VGC, uh, Dragapult will sometimes run Fly or even Acrobatics uh, just for max Airstream, just a speed boost. So because this thing is a faster Pokemon, it's able to speed boost the Galarian Zapdos, making it even scarier. So if you max Airstream with your Dragapult, the Zapdos will now be able to outspeed things like uh, base 115 Pokemon, um, or base 119 Pokemon like Cinderace, you'll be able to hit those. Next up, we have Incineroar, and Incineroar is a really solid option uh, because it is a dark type. Oh, and also Dragapult Ghost type, it's able to beat the Psychic types that beat Galarian Zapdos. Um, Incineroar is a dark type which is also able to beat the Psychic types that beat Galarian Zapdos. Uh, it also has Fake Out Pressure to help the Galarian Zapdos get off a free turn, whether that be a turn that decides to go for a Taunt or a Close Combat, uh, is up to you and up to the situation that uh, you find yourself in. Uh, on top of that, Incineroar is just a generally good utility Pokemon. Intimidate makes it so uh, it's going to be lowering the damage output overall on Zapdos, which is really, really nice. Now, Zapdos and Cinderace seems like a very, very scary hyper offense option to me because it's similar to Blaziken Bisharp, which you saw in previous formats, where you have a very fast uh, offensive firefighting type. This thing isn't a firefighting type, but it can change types on the fly. Um, next to a Pokemon with Defiant, basically by leading off with such a threatening Pokemon like Dynamax Cinderace or Gigantamax Cinderace, your opponent's going to want to intimidate that thing and make it so Zapdos on the lead is such a solid option. You can lead off Zapdos with Cinderace and they're going to be like, okay, let me lead off Landorus so I can beat this thing. And then they, they end up just giving this Galarian Zapdos um, an attack boost, making it even scarier than the Cinderace was. So yeah, that's, th that's going to be super scary. Um, another solid option for this Pokemon is going to be Dracovish. Dracovish now with Sandrush or maybe just Choice Scarf with the uh, Strong Jaw ability, uh, is another physically offensive Pokemon that wants that your opponent's going to want to Intimidate. So Glorian Zapdos is going to be able to benefit from that, from just getting the Intimidate, getting a attack boost rather than attack drop and being scary like that. Uh, Tyranitar applies pretty much the same logic. However, it's also another Pokemon that's able to defend it from those scary Pokemon like Psychic types, uh, etc. So yeah, uh, Galarian Zapdos overall looking like a very solid pick for this format. I'm super excited to use it in a video that either is going to come out today or tomorrow. I'm going to be doing some practice matches with friends, so uh, stay tuned for that. Let me know what you guys think about Galarian Zapdos in the comment section down below. Leave a like in the video if you found it helpful, and subscribe to the channel. But I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!